Hello people, this is Eric Cobra, and this is Let's Play EG Blind. Last time, we tried to negotiate, uh, you know, some peace with um, Cotera. It didn't work. Also, as informed by one of my viewers, Flutter Sniper, I believe it was, that you can do a so-called pacifist run of it. I looked up a pacifist run of the first level, and it involves charging suicide level straight well, well, jumping straight at all the enemy troopers as they fire at you with everything they got. Yeah. There's a, I'd say that uh, it's not something I would intentionally, uh, well, unintentional, maybe it's rather, it's not something I would do unless I was specifically aiming for it, because when people fire at me, I tend to go, firing back is okay. But, hey, in any case, <clears throat> okay, this is Sector 4. You'll find a Tassin reactor follow in. Part up, and we'll be able to use the communicator to send the distress call. Be very careful. They're likely tightening security now that Cortera's gone. Thanks. I'll need it. One more thing. If you're having trouble surviving, upgrade your health as much as you can. But don't forget to simulate to carry more ammo and Tassin come out for some better weapons. Increase security. Due to the extreme violence used by the human anomaly, she is now considered a great threat. Most troops have been stationed around important areas of the sector. Remember, this is, desertion is still a treason. Here's a suggestion. You, my good sir, are annoying me. Why is not just one of them coming forward with a rifle and saying, Look, could you please not kill us? Ow. Still not strong enough to do that. I think it said I needed to be level six. Well, that's kicks level six. I have kick level six before I could pull that off. Now. Hmm. If I could destroy that board up there, I could probably get underneath this thing. And how would I even get up there? So as to be able to get everywhere. Now, what's inside that duct there? So, right, let's see if we go down, we're fine. That looks good. Uh, Alright, notice a uh, weapon over there. Six. Already the things are getting very hard to crank and kick down. Secure the door on floor nine opened. Right. Now if I were to go this way, what would I find? Oh boy! What the hell is this? Unofficial threat list. 
So here are the four main threats as stereos by my squadron, chosen by a healthy balance between voting and arm wrestling. 1. The entire Tasman race being killed by that human anomaly. Seriously, have you ever seen her run out of ammo? Frightening. At least when all the humans around here usually die in one shot. The blitz nippling us to good pops of metal. They're like nuclear waste. We can catch them in little jumps and launch them out of the stratosphere, but that doesn't mean the little bats are actually dead until they start and turn into tiny clumps of... Whatever it is, it's not recyclable. The commander findings here. The only reason we list this is number 3 instead of 4 is because the human anomaly could be working for them. Then again, they'd have nuked us into molecules by now if that were true. The hot drink dismays are running out of triple compass and alloy mugs. Do they have any idea what kind of temperatures those mugs can endure? They play Commando Sentinel armor last stuff. I want my drinks hot, dammit! You haven't experienced real taste until you couldn't tell if you were having a hot drink or being shot in the face on a plasma cannon. Wow, serious threats. Oh boy! Sadly, this thing appears to not be able to jump across things. Oh, hey, that broke a ton of shit. Let's take a look around. And these guys could turn on a dime! Those guys are tough. Just FYI. They're tough. You should probably use machine gun instead because the shotgun does not have a lot of range. But hey, it turns out that this door open when you use the console. The one I couldn't hack. So let's see what's in here. Stop that. Huh, one wonders what is down there. Well, I'm sort of not getting back up from there, should I go down there? Better finish up here. Get everything I can. Yeah, that brings us full circle. Alright, so let's get crack. I'll take crack this time. Just to splash things up. And then... Maybe I should throw some tassel instead. Oh, whatever. The gun is done.
Ah, but in this vehicle, I'm immune to these fights. Let's use this to wreck some havoc. I should have worked right well against me. Shredder, eh? Hmm, I forgot about those high security doors down there. They're blocking the way to the ranks and communicator control. This empty elevator shaft leads to two stories, A and B, and there's one terminal in each of them to open those doors. There's a quick way around the security doors up above, but it's blocked by a shield door. You have to prepare stone to take it down. Okay. I guess I'll just go back then and investigate what's over here. Because over here seems pretty awesome. Actually, I'm kind of wanna run up with. Need the straight edge self to get through that right. So really that's not much over here. Well Still, nano is always good. Talk about. She ran right past the robot's car on duty back in sector 2. Seriously, I saw her through the window in the door. I mean, I know she's human all, but man, was she cute. I should have regretted I didn't pop out to say hello to her, but then I get shit probably to blow my head off. Yeah. Better make sure to tell the command office. Maybe you can get some bonus pay. If you said hello, I probably wouldn't have done anything to you. Six. Oh. Nick Cortez is dead. Sure, I couldn't stand the guy, but I never thought this to happen. Other than human, a human anomaly for Lucatur are pretty good. She probably didn't even know it was Kotera. It was just an elite, one of the horde. We just aren't worth anything to her. I've been wondering why we just don't try to talk to you and all, why she doesn't approach us peacefully, because I doubt she works for the commando. It's probably because we're all under a shoot to kill orders, where the few who actually stop to think don't survive. For long. Not to mention that we adjusted her homeworld with the Alpha Strike thanks to Kotera's power obsession. It's not like I wouldn't kill the commando trying to invade our base and take our lives, I can understand her. Maybe she does this because she doesn't have a choice, not because she actually wants to. Her power reminds me of that command of one woman army, Yosef the Invincible. 
See, this guy, he understands. If we just pop up and say something, I would be like, we could be friends. We could seriously be friends. And I mean, I'm, this is tragic and all, but it's not something that. Intruder! But they had a bad leader, they screwed up, they should probably have done something about it. Mistakes were made. But I'm not completely without heart. I mean, mistakes were made. We did some things we were... Oh, and it would appear I can't climb with these ladders. I was asking if that was possible. Mistakes were made, but I'm ready to forgive. I know the superior... I know there's a Cortera who screwed up. If someone would just say something, open up, not try to shoot me. And I wouldn't shoot them. This is no power drop. Let's get it straight. Cortez is dead and elites all over this place jumped at his position like a pack of blitz. If these upstarts think they can replace such an honorable and intelligent individual... Are we talking about the same guy? Without any... Honorable. Bomb the entire planet full of innocent people. Honorable. It doesn't really mention with honor. I know of honor, but sure. Intelligent? Uh, should probably have surrendered at some point if he was really intelligent. But I'm training and leading their fellow people. They'll just become like the rest. Remember that commander general who sent a squad to Siritago accomplished lead by an experimental annihilator just because he'd get kicked out of the command of your army refused? they all die within minutes. No one knows what Siritago is famous for. So remember, those of you here who are too self-centered to care about the death of one of our greatest leaders, this ain't the survival of the fittest, it's the survival of the task of the race. 